Caleb and Ollie are twin boys who have just turned eight years old. They both have a rare genetic syndrome called TARP syndrome and Ollie also has cerebral palsy. Caleb has a vision impairment. He sees about 30 centimetres clearly in front of him without his glasses and he also uses hearing aids. I'll never forget that day where he was first fitted with his first set of hearing aids and seeing him connect to the sound of the maraca. It was just priceless. <laughs> that good baby. Caleb and Ollie are both non-verbal and the main focus that we'd like for Ollie and Caleb is for them to have independence, a way to communicate not just only with us but other people um, and then be able to socialise with others as well. That's really important for us. When you're leaving your kids with complex needs, especially ones that are non-verbal, with a person who isn't related to you in any way. You need to have that strong level of trust to know that you can go away guilt-free and know that they will be looked after and have their routine followed. Our job as parents is to build a community for Ollie and Caleb of family, friends, support workers, therapists, medical practitioners, people who know Ollie and Caleb have their best interests at heart and will do anything to, to build them up. The people we surround ourselves with are ones that we actively know are working to try and better our kids and develop them to be amazing humans. Ollie and Caleb attend a special school. The teachers and all the staff there are just amazing. We use many ways to communicate with Caleb. Uh, and that includes a high contrast pod. We use our voice and verbal communication because he has hearing aids. I also wear a Roger system and we have different technologies like a talking timetable and an iPad. You've got more to say. Good. We would love to see Caleb and Ollie walk away with a robust communication system so they can get their messages to anyone they want, when they want, and have their needs met. We don't ever want to limit the children or their abilities just because they have a disability. Both the boys are very clever, they're always learning, and so are we. The future can sometimes be very scary. We don't yet know what Ollie's life expectancy is going to look like. So that is something that's been quite confronting for us for a number of years. Whatever that turns out to be, we will make sure that both of these boys are given every opportunity to be incredible kids, incredible humans, and be as independent as possible.